Ever pondered why some of us thrive in the spotlight while others prefer the serene solace of solitude? Does our society undervalue the introverts among us? Today we delve into the insightful book Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. In this riveting exploration, Cain challenges the societal preference for extroversion, a bias she terms the extrovert ideal. She argues that our culture, particularly in the Western world, prizes those who are outgoing, assertive and socially dominant. This, she contends, leads to an undervaluing of quieter, more reflective individuals who often bring a different yet equally valuable set of skills to the table. Kane doesn't just stop at societal observations. She delves into the science of introversion and extroversion, exploring the physiological differences between the two. She highlights that introverts and extroverts have different levels of arousal meaning they respond differently to stimulation. Introverts, she explains, are more sensitive to stimuli and therefore require less of it to feel satisfied or overwhelmed. In the chapters that follow, Kane explores the role of introverts in various contexts from the workplace to the classroom. She highlights the strengths of introverts, such as their propensity for deep thinking, their ability to work independently, and their knack for listening and empathizing with others. Contrary to the common perception of introverts as shy or socially awkward, Kane argues that they can be effective leaders and public speakers, particularly when they're passionate about their cause. One of the most compelling sections in the book is where Kane explores the concept of free trait theory. This theory suggests that introverts can act out of character and exhibit extroverted behaviors for the sake of work they consider important, people they love, or anything they value highly. This, she argues, allows introverts to stretch themselves without betraying who they truly are. Quiet concludes with a call to action, a plea for society to embrace the power of quiet. Kane encourages workplaces, schools and other institutions to create environments that respect and nurture the strengths of introverts. She advocates for a more balanced view of introversion and extroversion, where both types of personalities are valued and given the opportunity to thrive. In essence, quiet. The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking is a manifesto for introverts and a fascinating revelation for extroverts. It challenges the societal preference for extroversion and urges a greater appreciation for the quiet, reflective individuals among us. It offers a compelling argument for the power of introverts, backed by thorough research and personal anecdotes. So whether you're an introvert, an extrovert, or somewhere in between, this book will surely provoke thought and perhaps even inspire change.